Hi, Nicole Austin here with the Sean Petit Creative Team, here for another creative team post. And today I'm going to be working in my vintage ledger journal. I love this journal so much. Um, I just sometimes like working in old books or old journals just because of the quality of the paper and just the vintage quality of the paper is really inspiring to me. So. This one I've already started, and I like to use this journal to create my own ki kind of um, collage paper. So I'll often start with some spray ink or some oil pastel marks, scribbles. Sometimes I'll clean off, you know, stencils or things or test out new colors. So it's just kind of fun, just a fun way to play and create. And a lot of times I'll go back to a page and add things to it or, you know, add collage or maybe just rip this out. I think I've ripped a couple pages out already to use as collage paper. Or sometimes I'll just leave um, a page as is. And some of these are waiting for more layers, like this one. This one looks like it was a stencil clean off. So I'm going to go ahead and start on a brand new page. Um, so first I'll just start off with just kind of some random scribbles. Doesn't really have to be that much or that complicated. It can just be real easy. Art doesn't have to be hard. It can be fun and relaxing. And so I just start off with some little scribbles, kind of like you did when you were a kid. <laughs> just taking a crayon and scribbling it all around the paper and definitely using your favorite colors. And at this point, when you're using oil pastels, you can use every color of the rainbow because they don't mix. You don't have to worry about making mud. There's um, nothing that will pretty much mix with it or remove it. So feel free to just put those colors on there. This is the part I love. I love using the stencils to spray over the oil pastel and just create some fun little patterns. Always remember to flip it over and stamp the stencil down to remove some more of that ink. I love this old paper. Sometimes, I don't know what it is about these old ledgers, but they just have, I mean, look at how thin this paper is, but it just holds this ink really, really well. Just take a bunch of variety of patterns and colors, and again, this part is fun. Just when you're spraying, kind of look for little areas that might have a little fun contrast with your ink. So if you use blue, you know, try some pink. The green and the red really pops. That fluorescent and the green looks really nice together. Just be careful when you're using the sprays not to get, you know, green on top of pink because those will mix up and kind of kind of make it all muddy. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of gesso on top of this because what I'd like to do is I'd like to have um, a stenciled face in the middle here. So I'm just going to take a little bit and as I'm adding the gesso, um, I'm probably going to see some of the colors might mix. That's okay. I don't mind. I just wanted to have just a tiny bit of just a lighter uh, surface to work with. And what's also really fun about if you use any of these water soluble inks like the dilutions and you add gesso on top, uh, the, that color is going to keep bubbling through to the top layer. Um, this might not be something you want if you want a completely white um, surface if you're trying to cover it up, but it's really fun. I like it because it just gives you some little unexpected pops of color, especially if you're doing like a face or something on top. 
Um, I like having those colors pop through. You can kind of see through where the different elements are going to show up through on the face. So, you know, place it wisely. Make sure there's no big marks in the middle. So I'm just going to put, take my Stabilo Marksol pencil and just trace right through the stencil. are going to be in the middle of the head so that'll help you when you're trying to determine where the top of the head should be. So now I'm just gonna go add some hair, some sketchy little lines like that. Then you're gonna add the water brush on top and the thing with the Stabilo pencil is that it is water soluble so if you add water, you can darken those lines a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and color in the face using some Shiva oil paint sticks. I'm just using titanium white, yellow ochre, and a little bit of alizarin crimson. And to first get them ready, you just have to peel off a little bit. And this is not like a oil pa this is not like oil pastel. This is actually oil paint in a stick form. So it's not quite the same as the oil pastel. It's a lot different. These are a lot creamier and they're blendable just with your finger. So first I'm just going to lay down a little bit of the white. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of this and just go in places that are a little bit darker. Those are the sides of the nose, the eyelids, the sides of the face, underneath the lip, underneath the neck, and then just blend it in. At this point, I'm just going to blend everything together, trying to keep mostly the darkest spots, and then blending out to the lighter spots, and then being careful not to touch any of the black marks, because that will drag through as you're blending. If you accidentally cover up any of the lines, you can just come back with your pencil and then kind of redraw them back in. And for the white, sometimes I'll even use this little this a Sakura solid marker. So sometimes I use that as like a little bit of, if I want to lighten up really subtle. And it also works if you want to like get like the whites of the eyes. Okay, so you just add a little bit of highlight there and if it's too much you can just sort of dab it with your finger. That should give you just enough, a little bit over the eyelid. A little bit on the forehead, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, tip of the chin. Then for the rest of the outside, what I like to do is come in with just some of the Stabilo pencils and sometimes I'll mark around 
and just adding just a little bit of marks to kind of blend the face into the background and just do some little overlapping and you can also add some collage paper as well Also add texture to the face as well. While this oil stick is still uh, wet, you can kind of stamp into it, and that will help kind of move some of that um, oil pass or oil paint stick around and reveal an interesting little texture. Now after adding the rest of your collage and stenciled words, the last bit is just to add little marks with your paint pens or acrylic paint. 